Now, most of us have heard of this man called William Carey. So he preached a very simple sermon from Isaiah 54, verse 2 and 3. It had two points. Expect great things. Attempt great things. 1793. And he sailed all the way with his family to India. Came somewhere near Calcutta. Settled down there. He spent the next 40 years of his life. He translated the Bible, the whole Bible, into Bengali, Oriya, Marathi, Hindi, Assamese, and Sanskrit. He translated parts of the Bible into 29 other Indian languages and dialects. What do we want to see happen as a church community? Number one, we're going to have five church locations with each location serving at least... 50,000 people so that we at any point are ministering to 250,000 people in our city. So pastor, that's, that's a little too big. No, it's not big for God. God is looking for somebody who can at least dream, at least have a picture in your mind. Or what this would be like. So imagine coming, uh, you're part of a church community where there are 50,000 people worshipping there. Why are you talking such big numbers? You see, just think about this. We are living in a city that has maybe 12 million people or more. So we are living in such a big city. So even if you're talking about 250,000 people, it's minuscule compared to 12 million and growing. It's nothing. Nothing. The next thing we want to do is to, at any point in time, we want to be ministering to one million people in our city. That means these all this one million will not be coming to APC, uh, but that's already happening. That means we are serving more people who in our city than those who just attend church through all the ministries that are happening outside. So we want to be able to touch one million lives ongoing, continuously, one million lives in our city. Again, when you look at 1 million in the light of 12, it's nothing. And given all the technology we have, the tools we have, it's not difficult to do this. Number three, we want our Bible college to be a place that equips and sends thousands of anointed men and women who are strong in the word and yielded to the Spirit. We want to send such people out across our nation to go and minister. Why? We need such people. We need more of these people to work, to serve the Lord across our nation. So we want to be able to send them out to impact our nation and the nations. Number four, we want to see thousands of churches planted across India. We need good churches and we can do our part. Even if we plant 10,000 churches, it's very minuscule compared to the size of our nation. Number five, we want to equip pastors and churches across our nation. Thousands of them. Many, many who are working around the country who, who just have some basic understanding. They're serving God. We want to go and help them, equip them. Number six is we want to see thousands of churches planted outside India globally. By men and women that we've been able to bless, equip, and then send out. And they can go and plant those churches. <music> 